dry rubber squeegee that I'm using. Okay, since we're at the 400, we'll go this other direction now. Now the reason I didn't do that in black is because I didn't have any black. <laughs> All I had was orange. I mean I had regular gel coat in black, not tooling. Still trying to decide what colors to paint this. Thinking about uh, red base with a white stripe and black trim, but I haven't decided yet. So I keep it simple. Once you get that first grit done, the rest of them go pretty good. So that was 400. We move on up to 6 now. direction. I'm getting a, each each grid I get a little bit bigger in my area on sand and that way it kind of feathers it into the the rest of it. Sometimes you you just can't do, you just can't change directions like that. Sometimes on the part, you, you pretty much got to go the same direction because there just isn't enough room to go the other direction. This area doesn't really matter because I mean, this, this is going to be flipped over. This is going to be the motor well. And you're going to have rigging out of here and you're not going to see a lot of this, but, but yeah, you will. I mean, you'll be looking at this stuff. You don't want scratches and gouges in it and stuff. Although there, if there is a scratch on this part, it will stick up on the part when you make it out when you make the part out of it. And then it's just real easy to get.